What's going on guys? It's a dime and today we're gonna be making taking these old uh, metal handles off and Making some wood scales for it So uh, yeah, let's get to it All right, so I'm gonna start by taking a pick these are just crimped on with a little crimp on each end so I'm going to start by trying to take this side off and then just see if I can pull it off from there. All right, got the scales off. You can see that what the handles originally were just wrapped in a thin sheet of plastic. It's kind of holographic looking plastic. So get rid of that got these down I'm gonna sand these smooth inside and out try and get this action to be a little bit a little bit more snap to it because it's a little crunchy get it oiled and stuff we'll get it traced out onto this piece of wood I'm gonna get this piece of wood smoothed out you know as smooth as I can get it we'll cut it to shape and uh, yeah we'll see how this goes All right, just wrap a piece of sandpaper. This is some 400 grit around an old gift card to be able to get on the inside of the liners. Spray it with some WD-40. I'll just stick it down in there. Get the sand in. I'm gonna do this inside and out and try and work a lot around this blade where it connects. Get some oil worked into everything. Try and smooth everything out. These just seem like even, these might even be little galvanized pieces of metal for the liners, so. This is just a cheap Chinese knife. This is my first time messing with a folding knife, so I'm just seeing how this goes. I'm not afraid to mess this one up. Alright, so I got some snap into the blade from sanding and oiling it. I did notice as I was sanding it, this blade is coated. It almost looks like it's made of copper. You can see that on both sides as I started to sand it down with some 400. So uh, we'll see how this goes anyway. It's a learning experience anyway. I'm not really worried about the quality of this knife. That's not the point of this. I'm going to be flattening this piece of wood out. I cut this down last year. I've used this in my last couple of projects, if y'all have seen those. I'd like some help identifying this kind of wood. I'm not sure what it is, if anybody has any ideas. But uh, I'm going to get this flattened out, carved down using my mora mainly, and sandpaper. And maybe this four-in-one file. See what we can do with that for shaping. If y'all are interested in this leather slip, you like it, I made a video on that on my channel. You can check that out. Uh, I'm going to get to flattening this out, and I'll get back to y'all when I start tracing for new scales. Alright, so I got this piece of wood pretty well flattened it where I need it. Now what I'm going to do is get my length I need, so I know I need to cut it. Leave myself a little bit of room. And then right there is where I need to cut. Some of y'all might be happy to see I finally upgraded my saw. I've got one of these uh, tough built folding pull saws from Lowe's. You can get them on Amazon or wherever. But, uh, yeah. Let's get to cutting this thing out. There's the basic piece. I 
I'm going to do a little bit more work flattening it and then I'll get the scales traced out and cut a little more specific to size. Yeah, see y'all here in a minute. All right, got this traced out for what the scales will be shaped and then uh, now it's just going to be a lot of sanding, a little bit of carving as much as I can with a knife and there will be a lot of sanding. Yeah. I'll get back to y'all when I'm a little farther done with these scales. Alright, so I got these pretty much to size. I'm going to do the finishing, uh, you know, fitment once they're glued onto this. I stuck them against it and pressed them so I could get an idea of where all these pins go. Because I'm about to drill that out a tiny bit, leave some relief room, and then we'll get them epoxied on. This will also give a little extra room for the epoxy to hold on to. All right, so I got those drilled out. See the little spots? Got them drilled out deep enough where the these pins will fit in there. And then have some room for epoxy now I'm gonna rough this up the in, this metal and this side of the wood with a file so epoxy will have more to grab onto and then we'll get to setting it All right, you can see what I'm doing there. Just creating some little grooves, more spots for the glue to hold on to. I'll get that done on this and on the scales and I'll get back to y'all here in a second. All right, got some rough marks on here and on this on both sides, a little bit more for the epoxy to hold on to. Now I'm gonna coat both sides in epoxy, get these on there and clamped and once it dries, we'll work on shaping I'm also going to be burnishing this like I have every, everything else. I just like the way it looks and it, the function of it, hardening the wood a little bit, more rot resistant. So that's what we'll be doing. We'll see how this goes. This is just E6000 epoxy. I use this for pretty much everything. It's a really great all around epoxy.
Got all the excess epoxy wiped off for the most part. Now I'm gonna let this dry. Get a little bit more dry anyway. Probably not 100% before I keep working on it. And then I'll get back to you uh, here in a minute. We'll also be car or, uh, drilling a lanyard hole in this because it never had one. So yeah, I'll get back to y'all here in a minute. All right, this glue is dried enough for me to work on it without the clamps on. So next what I'm gonna do is kind of shape the handle up and just going around it with some 80 grit to start and then I'll probably go up to like 150 or 200 and I'll finish with 400. But to get the rough shape, I'm gonna start with some 80. And uh, yeah, let's get started on this. Alright guys, I got that done with the uh, 80 grit, got it all roughed in, pretty happy with the shape. Now I'm going to go through and refine it a little bit with some 150 and uh, then step it up to 400. I also need to drill a lanyard hole, so we'll do that next before I get any more into sanding and get this marked out. Alright, the way I'm going to do this is kind of hold my pencil lead where I think it's going to need to be. I'm going to do it about right there. I know it needs to be pretty far down, so I'm going to guess right about here. And that's where we're going to do it. It's that little mark. Alright. Alright, let's see if I can get, get this done without uh, chipping out any of the wood. Go slow and step it up. There's first one. Now I'm gonna step up the size a little bit. And go back through. I'll probably have to touch up the gluing again, but this got it all to shape and it's gonna allow me a clean straight hole through all this. All right, that's as wide as I need the hole to be. I am going to step up one more time to get it wallered out around the edges to kind of clean up that sharp edge. So we'll do that real quick. Now I'm gonna get a bigger bit. And these are all just impact quarter inch hex shank drill bits I got from Harbor Freight. good place to get your first tools and find out the ones you really need to upgrade later all right and the rest of this will have to be done with sanding and there we go all right guys so now I'm gonna sand everything down get it smooth again step it up to 120 and then 400 and I'll get back to y'all here in a minute all right got this up to 400 i'm happy with how smooth everything is next i'm going to burnish everything and then we'll oil it and we'll throw a lanyard through it and we'll get this nice and sharp
All right. Now I'm going to hit this again with 400. I might touch it again with the torch after. And then we'll get to oil and throw the lanyard on. Sharpen it up. with that everything's smooth feels good had to oil everything because a bunch of sawdust has got down in there since I've been sanding it it's not too bad I'm gonna get to uh I'm gonna go grab some oil and I'll be back to y'all here in a second all right this is just olive oil what I've used on a lot of my projects and it's worked well so far so stick with it for now until I get some better stuff see how this turned out oh yeah look at that that's pretty compared to that right there throw that oil on it that's a pretty knife I'm happy with that get these lanyard holes pretty good get a couple good coats of oil on this let it soak into the wood wipe off the excess This is looking. Oh, yeah. Pretty happy with that. That's not too bad looking. A lot better than those old crappy metal. I think so. pretty happy with that now we got to throw a lanyard through it and we got to get the uh, knife nice and sharp it's not too bad but we'll get it razor sharp pretty close anyway all right I'll get back to y'all here in a second all right last thing is to sharpen I'll be using my work sharp precision adjust elite kit at a 20 degree angle, starting with the 320 side. We'll see where this gets us. All right, y'all. Got this thing nice and sharp. Got a good edge on it. Got the handles old, lanyards on. That's a finished build. Another one down. If y'all enjoyed this content, make sure to like the video, comment down below, tell me what you think and uh, how I can improve my videos in the future, and uh, subscribe to keep up to date with new stuff. Yeah, this has been Dime, guys. Thank you for watching.